Hey guys, what's up? So, what I'm talking about in this video is uh, Django versus Node and um, why I'm going with the decision that I'm about to make. So, to give uh, a background, uh, Django is built uh, around Python, the Python programming language, which I've already uh, I've been a huge advocate for Python in the past few years. It, it was one of my first languages that I've learned, and um, I'm really happy and proud of the success that Python has had. Um, across all kinds of different communities, uh, but with the web, it's it's certainly become like a um, you know a top contender uh, for a, a web-based language or for a web framework, basically a server-side language. So I'm really comparing uh, Django to Node. So I spent a few months over the last few months actually with Node.js, and um, I am a really big fan of Node, and I love uh, JavaScript. I actually like programming in Node because I can write JavaScript, and at work I, I do a lot of JavaScript stuff, so I'm more of a, a senior UI type of programmer dealing mostly with JavaScript, but um, I also do a lot of, you know, a decent amount of C-sharp, but um, I definitely do more JavaScript than C-sharp. So when it came to running a stack at home for uh, the website that, that I'm about to create, uh, I needed to decide whether or not I was going to do Node or Django. Now, I've had several Django sites in the past, and um, I decided to step away from Django just for a bit to just play around with Node and see what I thought of it. And one of the main reasons why I wanted to decide, or really one of the reasons why I thought Node might be a good idea for me and for my project is because I wanted to be able to build the framework from the ground up and basically be able to handle um, every bit about that, that framework. So when it comes to like session management, uh, account authentication, uh, templating engines, all that stuff. I wanted to be able to write all that code uh, to get it going. And Node, I think, gives a lot of freedom of being able to do that. So we're actually comparing um, somewhat apples to oranges. So Django is a Python web framework and it uses Python on the server. Node is technically a server-side uh, essentially, it can be thought of as an API, but it runs on the server, so it's actually written in C and C++, but you use a JavaScript API to be able to communicate with that C and C++ language, which ultimately boils down to machine-level language, which is ones and zeros. So um, it is a little bit of an apples to oranges comparison when you say Node.js and Django. A better comparison would be Express.js, which is a framework, a minimalist framework that is built on top of Node, and what, yeah, okay, they did a redirect, that was weird. So you have Express, um, like I said, it's built on top of Node, and it can be thought of as a Django. You know, what Django is to Python, Express is to Node in a way. And that may not be the best comparison, but it's better than comparing Django to Node specifically. So with Express, it gives you hardly anything out of the box. You basically have some HTTP functionality for being able to route requests to templates and stuff like that. And um, there's just there's a ton of tools that you can add on and everything, and it just seemed really cool. So I was building this web framework, right? And here's part of it. Um, I've actually kind of changed it around a lot, but actually you can see I'm not going to go through all the the code here. Some of it's kind of sloppy, but what I did is I actually created uh, my own authentication kind of profile situation where um, there's actually a swear word in my comments in there. Hopefully you guys didn't see that, but. <laughs> Um, I, I do that sometimes when I'm frustrated, but you can see like um, in this particular thing I was kind of learning how to do like, you know, salting and hashing my passwords, which I thought was cool and and um, You know, I'm kind of writing a bunch of stuff here So I even have uh, for my authentication like I have a temporary database table uh, using MongoDB that I was creating a session data to so basically when you register to the site you go into this like temporary data uh, table that's waiting for authentication. So then I, I, I spin up a, uh, a unique GUID um, using some of the latest standards there and I send the email so that way I can verify it's not a robot and they at least have to verify their email address and you know they come back in and I verify the token that was in the email that that came into the site. And the bottom line is that I built my own authentication. It was really awesome. I was really happy about it. Now the reason why I'm deciding whether or not Django versus Node is because I have a specific requirement where I essentially want a just a basic CRUD application. So a CRUD stands for create, update, read, and delete. So wait, did I say that right? Create. So create, read, update, and delete. Yeah, I guess that's it. All right. So 
Um, anyway, a CRUD application, Django is, is really what you know, CRUD is built for. Node is mainly, you know, with its uh, asynchronous nature, it's very good for two-way chat communication. Um, it doesn't ever have any sort of, uh, it's a non-blocking um, kind of in-out uh, process. So it, it's able to handle high load, um, although it doesn't necessarily make it any quicker than Django. Um, it probably is a little bit quicker. I haven't done any speed tests on it. I've noticed um, locally that Node is actually quicker than Django. But here's the problem with Node and Express is that what Django gives you out of the box with its admin, um, with the fact that it just it's built to work with you know your more traditional SQL based languages like uh, or you know SQL databases like MySQL. Um, you can easily hook it up to MySQL or you can hook it up to uh, PostgreSQL or SQL Server. It doesn't matter. Django gives you all kinds of flexibility as far as what um, what uh, database you want to work with, except for MongoDB. If you want to go into a NoSQL with Django, you're probably going to run into some problems with the built-in admin system. But most people don't want to do that unless they're trying to be hip and cool, or that maybe they you know they they do think that MongoDB is the future. But um, in my particular situation, like I said, I just want to build a CRUD application. So what I have here is I have this new movies.com website, and I'm actually tired of actually working on it. I haven't maintained this thing in like three months. I've owned it for several years now. Um, at one point, like I think during its peak, I had like 150,000 visitors to this website, and I was like, oh, yeah, but it was a ton of work. I had to write articles and stuff like that. And to be honest with you, I kind of did this as a learning tool. Uh, for my full-time employment because I was learning about uh, responsive web design which in case uh, if you guys don't know what that is when you shrink a screen down and this isn't even this doesn't even look pretty it looks terrible but uh, when you sh 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 uh, shrink the screen down you have this you know responsive view and all that stuff so this website looks absolutely terrible and I'll be the first to admit that um, it's looked better in the past to be honest with you but Every time I would be like, oh, I'm going to add this new feature, and then I'll start like getting into it. And then I realized that there is just a ton of code that makes this movie's website run because I've actually redesigned it like probably 10 times over three years. And, and there's just never, there's never any end in sight. You know what I mean? Like you think you're going to add some sort of small, you know, update to it. And then you start looking at your, your base code and I'm like, God damn, I got a hundred thousand lines of code here. And I don't even remember what half of it is doing. And um, I mean, look at some of this. This is just one of one of the views of many that this uh, newmovies.com site is running on. Um, and some of that code is just absolutely terrible. So the bottom line is, I'm actually going to be removing new movies. I don't plan on actually having any sort of Hollywood-based website anymore. I don't really need it, and um, it's never going to work, to be honest with you. Um, I had talked to you guys about a previous video where I said, you know, dream big and all that stuff. Well, you know, if you're going to build a Hollywood movie site where you're actually talking about Hollywood movies and things like that, um, that is a big dream. But you better have a strong passion to want to talk about movies day in and day out. And if you don't like writing and you don't like talking about movies, and you're probably never going to be able to succeed, even if you did with something like, um, you know, IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. I mean... IMDb is owned by Amazon.com, you know, obviously $100 billion company. Uh, Rotten Tomatoes is owned, they were owned by Warner Brothers at one point. Now I think they're owned by CBS or some sort of large like media conglomerate. Uh, a lot of those media companies actually own each other. So in my opinion, I'm like, well, why do I have this site? I, I don't have time to maintain it, number one. It's not a learning tool for me anymore. It doesn't really make any money, not enough to keep it running. Um, and it's just kind of like, uh, so, but at the same point, I'm like, well, I spent three years on the, on the website, you know, as far as owning it, you know, so I pay to renew the domain every year. I have thousands of backlinks to this existing site. So I have an age domain and some backlinks. Why would I want to just get rid of it? So, um, what I'm trying to do is I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just build a new website and I'm going to actually have the website be catered around the, the YouTube tutorial videos that I do here on my YouTube channel. Um, so I just kind of want to like maybe showcase a little bit more with the YouTube channel and then also be able to provide uh, downloadable tools for when I do do tutorials. A lot of people have asked for like source code for what I'm writing. And unfortunately, I haven't given a lot of, um, I haven't actually planned that out well enough to actually have the source code available. So that's what Noob Movies is going to be. I'm going to try to transition it into a site around my tutorials and have all the source code and everything available and hopefully make it easier to kind of discover and, and maybe interact with the community uh, more than just what the channel provides. So 
that's my whole thing and I'm like well you know really what I'm envisioning is sort, sort of a CRUD application so do I want to use Node or do I want to use Django I've done the research I've wrote a, a framework that has a lot of functionality in Node.js and I built it from the scratch from scratch and I really appreciate you know the learning uh, learning process along the way but when it comes to actually getting something done Django is absolutely right when it says it makes it easier to build web, web apps more quickly with less code and there's just no question about it so I'm choosing Django where node may exceed um, Django in speed in certain areas or, or maybe um, being less of a, a monolith you know with its code base um, for my particular goal if you just want to get a website up and running and a, pr and a reliable website uh, you can't go wrong with Django. I mean, I, Django is still exploding in popularity, and a lot of companies are using it. And um, my my point is that, that in this particular case, I plan on using Django. I'm still going to be working on my Node framework, and I hope to do something with that eventually because I spent months on it, and just kind of learning uh, piece by piece. But um, Django's Django is the the bee's knees. So I mean, I, I really like Django and. Um, that, like as much as people want to talk about Node and everything doing away with Django, I really don't think so. I I think um, Django has some has some good tools out there, and for a minimalistic uh, website, um, then you know that's my choice. So I think Django still has Node beat to date. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you disagree. Um, I know Node is cool, and I'm not bashing Node whatsoever. I'm just simply saying, for what I plan on doing with your with your typical website, maybe e-commerce store, whatever it may be, I really feel like Django has no beat, um, hands down. Alright guys, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and uh, have a good day. Bye.